friends, this is Dawn Compton, the pastor at Main Street United Methodist Church, and I'm here today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. What I wanted to, to share with you is something that I, I read, actually um, been reading this week as part of um, my Lenten devotionals that I'm doing. Uh, the focus for this week in the, in the devotional I'm looking at is on diversity. And I, I felt, felt challenged by this. And so now I thought, okay, I'll challenge those that are participating in these Wednesday words. Uh, the challenge was that if we are serious about uh, including all people and, and truly uh, being diverse in how we are gathering and what we are doing, um, that it's more than just having a, a token representative as part of our group. But it really is going to where those people we want to, to be engaged in are at and uh, being a, and being a part of what they have going on. Not necessarily saying, hey, you can be a part of what we're doing because what we're doing is really good. Yours is just okay, right? So what I'm doing is I, I, I want to encourage you, um, challenge you to look outside the walls of Main Street. Look outside of the ministries that we are participating in as a community of faith. And look at other places, look at other ways that you see ministry happening. And when I say ministry happening, I mean love being expressed. I mean care being given. Where people are being welcomed. Look for ways that you see that in our community, especially for ways that might be including people who might not feel real comfortable coming into the sanctuary on a Sunday morning. And how can we be a part of what's happening there? How can we go out and be a part of the, the vast diversity that God has created and, and celebrate that by joining people where they're at and being a part of what they already have going on that is wonderful and that is blessed and that is making a difference and saying, we want to be a part of what you're doing. How can Main Street be a part of that? How can I be a part of that? So I, I hope you know that I think part of my job is to continue to challenge you to think beyond yourselves and to look beyond ourselves. I am certainly going to try and be more intentional about that. And I just lift that up for each of you uh, this uh, Wednesday in Lent. I do want to remind you that our, our Lenten lunches are continuing today. And that's one of the things I think is great because we are working with people that aren't necessarily members of Main Street, but we're looking at the commonality that we have with uh, the other churches of worshiping God and walking this Lenten journey to prepare for Easter together. Uh, so I encourage you to come any Wednesday. Uh, the meal starts at noon and we are should be done by 1 p.m. And all are welcome. The, all of the meals are at Main Street in our Community Life Center. Um, but we have different churches that are serving and sharing those meals. So I encourage you to come and be a part of that. I uh, also want you to begin looking at the, your calendar down the road uh, to remind you that our Breakfast with the Bunny is on March 23rd. Uh, we will have some breakfast foods and we'll have lots and lots of eggs. Uh, so begin uh, putting that on your calendar, inviting any children and their families that you know of uh, to participate in that, to bright and early that Saturday morning, um, and begin asking Beth, what can I do to help? How can I help with the Breakfast with the Bunny? What do you need to do to make that a wonderful success? We have a lots of, of children and their families uh, that from the community that come and participate in that. We want to make sure that we show um, extreme hospitality and welcoming them to our building and to this community of faith and let them know that they are welcome anytime with what's going on here.
So that's on Saturday. And so then the very next uh, day on Sunday is Palm Sunday. And we begin our Holy Week activities. We'll have special worship on Palm Sunday. Um, and so just to kind of give you a heads up about what's happening during Lent. On Wednesday, there will be a community-wide service that Wednesday night at uh, Word of Life Episcopal Church, um, not Episcopal, Evangelical Church, sorry, Word of Life Evangelical Church, um, and it's going to be a little play. The message is going to be done in a play form, um, and the, the name of the play is A Case for John Doe, so it will be couched in worship. Uh, so it will begin with worship, it will end with uh, communion and worship, and the, the, the little play will be the, the message part of it. So you're encouraged to go. That is uh, being sponsored by the Bedford Ministerial Association. Uh, so it will be open to all of the community to come and be a part of that. On Thursday, we're going to do something a little bit different. On Thursday evening, we are going to have time where the, the sanctuary will just be open. And we'll have some music playing and a time for you to spend time in prayer and focus. And then we will be offering uh, Holy Communion to all who want to come during that time. Anytime uh, that evening when the, the sanctuary is open, you'll be able to come and receive communion and meditate and, and reflect on what happened uh, that night so many years ago. Uh, so it's not necessarily going to be, it's more like the drop in like we did for the Ash Wednesday service. You can drop in and, and spend some, some meditative time yourself. You can, we can spend time with prayer with me. I'll be happy to, to do that and we'll be here to offer you uh, communion during that time. Then on Friday, oh friends, this is really exciting. On Friday, on Good Friday, we will have our um, uh, Linton Cantata. And this year, our choir here at Main Street is working with the choir at Bethlehem United Methodist Church. And they are combining together to offer this music. They're going to be down at Bethlehem United Methodist on Thursday. That's why we're doing things a little bit different here. And then on Friday, both groups will be here to offer that musical um, uh, worship. Uh, that uh, Good Friday evening. Um, the choirs will come together to sing and we're going to have a little instrumental group that will be accompanying them. And it just promises to be a really powerful, powerful service and one that I truly can think and prepare your heart and your spirit uh, for the, the somberness of uh, what happened on Good Friday. Uh, the despair and sadness on that Saturday so that we can truly be ready to celebrate and be joyful on Easter. So that's what's happening uh, the week of, of Holy Week. Just want to lift those up uh, so you can begin planning to participate in all of those that you would like to, to participate in. Friends, I hope you have a great rest of the week. I look forward to seeing you and worshiping with you on Sunday, either in person at 1030 here or worshiping with you online. God bless.